Captain Falcon. I believe we are live now, Can you hear me? and okay. we're going right into it. We've got Envy Cold versus Tri Zone. <laughs> Tri Zone, we're in Tri State. Get it? <laughs> I hate my life. And we've got Mewtwo versus Captain Falcon on Battlefield. All right, I'm liking the tag. What what move is TMO6? I think oh. that's what that's what God made the internet for. I'll be right back, folks. I want to say that's Psychic. I could be wrong, but uh. It's one of the early on, like, really good ones, I think. Uh, one way or another, we're not too concerned about it, and I'm not even too certain if this Mewtwo knows TMO6, <laughs> but uh, we certainly know that he's got the lead right now over this Falcon. Now, Falcon on Battlefield is pretty interesting just because he can control space so well, and Falcon doesn't particularly mind the larger blast zones. All of his kill power is packing a punch, so he can really make the use of those large blast zones to further extend the stock that he has, but... Right now, someone's got a deficit that we're sitting at. I'm trying to see how well he can bring this back. Well, I just Googled it, and it's toxic. <laughs> it's toxic? TM06 is toxic, and I am loving this tag right now because we got some toxic Mewtwo action going on here. Yo, real you're not kidding, my, my guy. Yeah. 89% right now. Not really concerned too much about the uh, pressure that Zone's putting out. Down tilt to break a lot of this pressure, and you're seeing some of these tail moves just helped it outspace Falcon. It's so unfortunate when you see matches like this where you have one opponent edge guarding somebody and the other one desperately trying to get back to stage, you know. And they're getting absolutely gross. It's like all taking that game one very convincingly. We're gonna assume it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cold's Falcon. Oh, you're right, so that's zone. Zone is in the zone oh, so with the... that game one right. lead. His thing's uh, fucking one piece right Watch him out. You're on the mic. Oh, okay. So game two is bringing us to Dreamland. We're a little bit haphazard this set. We apologize, but don't worry. The action's keeping itself nice and flowing well. And it is Zone, who is currently still pushing as much advantage as he possibly can. So yeah, after that first game, Cold must be feeling cold because that was very dominant first game coming from uh, Mewtwo here. Moving right back into the action, you see that Zone's just doing a solid job of zoning out Cold right now. <laughs> no pun intended there. It's just tons of this little projectile pressure, and then it's not even anything that Zone's relying on. We're seeing him use these uncharged Shadow Balls to put out the pressure, and then move in with Down Tilt to contest anything that Falcon's throwing out. He's covering all his options getting back to stage, you know. Solid air dodge. Cold would have eaten that free if not for it, but instead he gets the raw disable into up smash. Everything about this is wrong, but Zone doesn't care. He's just carrying it further and further on. I don't know, man. That, that play was just TM06, man. Toxic. Like, I can't. Oh. I'm trying to end this man's life. Send himself. This man's right in the epilogue before this chapter even finishes. This is nuts. Pressure is just coming down on Cold. 
He's having no relief of it though. He finally has control of the edge, but don't agree with that forward air. It put him in a really sour position and right now, Zone doing a fantastic job just keeping the pressure on even when he's not in control of the ledge. He's just contesting so much airspace and just like that, the What a brilliant tool. play. What a brilliant play coming out from Zone. Baiting the air dodge with the smallest of 